Okay, so welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to go over bar graphs. Okay, so a bar graph is a graph that uses bars. Okay, so the bars represent categories. Okay, now you could use the bar, bar graphs could be used as like categorical variables or quantitative variables. The bars don't necessarily need to touch, right? Especially if you're dealing with categorical variables, they don't need to touch. Um, they could touch if you're dealing with quantitative or continuous data, but at this point we're just going to concentrate on the different pieces of the graph. Okay, so in a bar graph, you're using two or more bars to compare amounts of things. Now these amounts could be percentages or values, uh, things like that, frequencies, and so the different pieces of the graph uh, are shown here. So of course you definitely want a title, right? Always have a title for the reasons stated before. Um, then you have the axes, okay? Now one axis is tells you what each bar represents, and this could be each category that falls into it. So it could we could be talking about year, we could be talking about uh, causes, we could be talking about. Um, all kinds of different categories, okay? So we could have year, right? We could say this is 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, and so on, okay? So this would be one axis or line of reference, okay? So we call these reference lines, right? So this would be an axis as well. Um, this would be a reference line that tells us what each bar represents and what is the value of each bar. Okay, it's the scale, right? So this line of reference, so this, on the x-axis if you will, but on this line of reference or on this axis, it tells us the, what each bar represents, right? So each bar represents year. So this is year. Okay, so this axis would be labeled year, and we could label this axis, let's say, um, oil, Oops. for example, and let's say barrels, so barrels of oil. Okay, and we can say this is measured in hundreds of millions of barrels, right? And so in this case here, each bar represents a particular year, and the height of each bar, based on this line of reference or this axis uh, tells us how much oil maybe was produced. Okay, depending on what the, the title says. But you know, since this would represent so much barrels, so many hundreds of millions of barrels of oil, and then this year would represent another uh, amount, and so on. So the height of the bars represents the amount that each year has. Okay. And so that's the way you want to read a bar chart, right? And then you can compare different bars, right? So you can compare within different bars. Now, the big difference between a pie chart and a bar chart is that the categories of bars do not have to add up to the whole, and usually don't, okay? In a pie chart, in a circle graph, the, all the wedges must add up to 100%, okay? If the parts add up to more or less than the whole, okay, if they add up to less than or more than 100%, then we can't use a pie chart, we'll have to use a bar chart, okay. Also, bar, part, I showed this bar chart uh, with the bars going vertical, but you can definitely have the bars going horizontal as well, and there's several different graphs out there that show that, okay. Okay, so let's do an example. 